What can I say about Link? The character's a noob killer, man. There's so many of those little finite scenarios that can be character-specific of how your character deals with, you know, those annoying projectiles the best, my friend. Link players want to annoy you, and they will. And a character with no projectiles should be easy pickings for one like Link who can't outcamp him. But, you know, Roy going to get in there and he's going to do his thing and he's going to get his way all the way to Losers Finals to run it against Jackal right here, who he's already got 60% tacked on onto PS2 for game number one, Skiff. Mm -mm. All right, well, here we go. Uh, right now, Carflow is continuing this rampage here. Definitely has not lost a step at all. The momentum is feeling pretty good, but you got to find a way to keep that momentum against one of the biggest momentum shifters in the game, Jackal. He knows how to stop a game on the dime and just turn everything around. The, like, just the entire ebb and flow of the game will just disappear in front of you. And that was actually a very fortunate position for Car uh, Carflow. He got caught in this weird scenario and ended up going to the ledge, right? But that actually stopped him from potentially even dashing forward even a little bit because Jackal was ready to close that stock out. And that's so important as that neutral air is going to take the stock right there because if there's any wolf player who's going to be on par and ready to take those stocks, it's going to be Jackal. Because people like to think, like, I say this every time, like, I cast one of Jackal's sets, but people like to think, oh, what is Jackal like? Is he, like, is he the aggressive wolf? Is is he, like, the patient wolf? Is he, like, the wolf who's going to, like, camp you or whatever? Like, Jackal is the adaptative wolf. He will play however he needs to against your particular play style and character. To, like, to whatever he needs to do to win. So if he needs to hang back, you know, to deal with the aggression of Roy a little bit more, he will. If he recognizes that his buttons are better in certain situations, like that up tilt on the platform was right there, as the up smash Hagen does, is going to scoop him. He's going to do that. He plays by the situation because Wolf, Wolf is a character that rewards the insane strong fundamentals that he has. And it's showing in spades right now for him in this game, number one. Not a stock lost yet. Yeah, this is definitely a uh, guy who has fought plenty of Royce. Oh before. my! Yep, sign seal delivered. I knew as soon as he landed that forward air, I'm like, that's game, 100%. Man, Jackal's done that plenty of times. And you know what? That's, I feel like that's a move we don't see him do too often, right? I feel like he is like, you know, you, you said that he is the adaptive wolf, right? But like, I feel like he definitely tends to not go as aggressive as, as we see some other wolves do, right? But that time, beautifully played, Mwah, masterpiece, game one. When he's up that far in a game, when he's up that many stocks and he's feeling himself that hard, he, he will do it. Mm -hmm. like, but those are pretty much the only scenarios. He'll never go for it to style, and maybe if he's in a crazy last stock, last hit scenario, then maybe he'll do it. But even then, he'll elect to just sort of, like, try and go for a more patient ledge trap instead because he doesn't want to, like, throw away a stock or something like that. But that was a three stock. He was up all the way that entire time, so he figured why not go for it. And now we're running it off to Smashville, which is the pick of car flow, which... Ooh. I gotta say, I, I get it. You know, like, the central platform on this stage can make the neutral just that much more different. You know, a smaller stage is good to be able to deal... It's harder to deal with an aggressive character like Royon. And with the way the platform is positioned, you know, like... You just wind up on the ledge that much more often because of the way the platform is positioned. And that falling neutral air, late little hit, is all you need. Doesn't matter what stage you're on, that's going to get a gimp against a character with a recovery like Roy's. Mm -hmm. There's actually something I saw uh, earlier, too, when Jackal was offstage on the right. Uh, Carflow had the ledge trap or that he was going for. He actually threw up that counter, right, expecting a uh, wolf flash. And Jackal actually just held off on it and actually ended up going with the up B instead. And because of that slight delay, he gets that one last little hit box it actually just clips Carful for a little bit of damage but also gets him away from the ledge that was just great recognition from Jackal just wanted to point that one out real quick but as we continue to move forward in this game too Jackal does have a nice lead here looking to try and overlap Carful in percentage I mean 77 on the second stock that's already great you're in a beautiful spot here even losing that stock yeah, F-Tilt going to do it right there, my friend. You know, that pivot cancel into the F-Tilt, that is one thing that, that is one tech that board players need to know, and a lot of them at this level do know in car flow right now, to be able to get that hitbox out easily when they need them. And is that an eaten jump? It is with the triple forward air right there. That is one hell of a way to be able to take a lead back when you're all the way off at 119%, recognizing that Jackal did not have his jump off the level and Wolf's recovery being as linear as it is, able to get that one right there, but finally able to get that stock right reversed real quick. Only a 30% differential between these two players right now, Skiff. Yep, I mean, we'll see how it comes down here, but right now, car flow is starting to go a little bit crazy here. I like how he recognized those first couple hits weren't landing on the side B and just backed off just to try to reset the neutral there. As you can see, got a lot more damage out of it, but now you are on ledge against Jackal. He does get the forward tilt, put out a couple lasers as well, got the percentage lead, but it comes down to how do you close this out? Oh, you get the fallout hit on the forward tilt. That's unfortunate. 
Ooh, and I teased after young man reaction time. I expected a down smash right there, and I don't know if Carflow did too. He's going to eat that dash attack for it. Love the little tomahawk right there, man. Very ballsy option and a smart one as well by the ledge, knowing that Jackal wasn't going to be ready for it that time around. Very good conditioning on the part of Carflow, but an even better neutral air on the part of Jackal as well, man. Even better positioning that time around, getting him exactly where he needed him to. He was hitting his tech scenarios when he needed to, my friend. Offstage presence where he was able to get those late little landing neutral airs because he knows how linear or how uh, um, sort of finite, I should say, Roy's recovery is as we take a look at this clip once again. God, classic. You already know. Jack, yep. Jude, Jack, Jude Jekyll Harris. Jude Jekyll Harris. Jude Jekyll Harris. Yeah, Jude Jekyll Harris. Jude Jekyll Harris. Uh, say that five times fast. Jude Jekyll Harris, Jingleheimer Smith. His name was my name, too. His name was my <laughs> name, too. But, uh, no, fantastic. What was that kid's name from Recess? The, the one who just That's like- That's really specific. <laughs> no, 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 the, the, the huge one who had like, he just talked like a normal kid, but then whenever they were like, oh, sing the song again, he would be like, don't I have no idea. Them. I don't remember. Oh, that was like a meme. That was like a meme in the show. He the always only, sang that the song and his only voice one got I remember. The only one I remember is uh, Randall because he was just the playground snitch. That's all I remember. And he was referencing a uh, Zach Fox in one of his songs made a reference to Randall. I thought that was-